Joining me now, radio talk show host, Fox News contributor, Leslie Marshall, and Republican campaign strategist, Tony Sayeg. Great to have you both with us. Uh, let's, uh, let's start with the increase uh, in military spending, Leslie. No, I'm kidding. Let's start <laughs> with Jeff Sessions and the recusal today and the brain dims uh, who have been attacking him as if they had never met him before and knew nothing of his integrity, his character, and his stature. Well, Lou, from where I sit as a Democrat, I saw Republicans attacking, if you want to call it as well. What I heard from Democrats were from some asking for his resignation, but I heard largely from Democrats and many Republicans for the recusal, which obviously the attorney general did. And I think rightly so. This is the way that you move forward. Uh, you keep it from being a, a huge distraction. And uh, I think it was the right thing to do because, quite frankly, he did have a closed door meeting. Uh, the confusion, I think, that comes for many Democrats saying we need to go further than recusal and have a resignation is if you can't remember a meeting happened last month, now today, this month, all of a sudden you remember the meeting, but you remember what you did and did not speak about. That is a bit precarious, I, th I think, for many people, not just Democrats. Yeah, I, I think mostly Democrats, uh, only 14 by our account of Republicans <laughs> turned hyena today. Uh, each and every one. Your, your thoughts, Tony? Well, look, first of all, Jeff Sessions wasn't hiding anything. I mean, yeah. These meetings were part of the public record. At least one of them was. And the second one was a chance encounter at a conference. Mm -hmm. So I could hardly suggest this idea that he was doing anything nefariously at all. I think he did an honorable thing. Maybe, I don't think it was necessary, but he clearly uh, put the institution, the Department of Justice, ahead of himself by suggesting that he would recuse himself. That's not something, by the way, that Loretta Lynch did after she was caught having a private meeting with Bill Clinton, the husband of a subject of an ongoing FBI investigation, uh, and she refused to recuse herself. So at least Jeff Sessions shows uh, the kind of integrity that he, and standard that he holds himself to. The other piece that really bothers me, too, is this idea that he knew what he was saying at that meeting was misleading. He didn't. He thought they were talking about campaign operatives yeah. meeting with, with Russian uh, people. Mm -hmm. That was not Just so both what he know, had done. We ran the full, the full clip of Senator Al Lincoln asking the question, his news is breaking, uh, and, and he was laughing about the absurdity of the, of the context himself, Leslie. Uh, by the way, you, you were talking about a closed-door meeting, a closed-door meeting, but it was a closed-door meeting with at least two, if not three, of his associates and staff members with him. Uh, in meeting with the uh, the ambassador. Yes, he yes, he did. This is part of the bigger problem here, Lou. If you have a meeting and there are other people there, how come these other people didn't come forward? How come he didn't remember that? How come now he's remembering what he did or did not say? And with respect to the context of the question and the answer, I have two children, eight and nine, and if they had said something to me in the context in which the attorney general did, I would consider it a lie, and this is why. Part of what he well, said tough, specifically, tough. Oh, part whoa, of what he said specifically whoa, was, I be, know of no one. Uh, what, what, I know of no one that had meetings that? with the because Russians. Are, and are you saying your children lie? He, I won't put up with that kind of <laughs> that kind of charge on this broadcast. <laughs> Mine are perfect. Not from a mother of two. <laughs> a father of four. All, all four are perfect. Right. It sounds anyway. like a bidding war now. <laughs> you know, here's what's, here's what's interesting. Um, Jeff Sessions is a senior senator who sits on the Armed Services Committee, the idea that he would meet with a Russian counterpart should not be shocking at all. I would remind Leslie that Barack Obama's first U.S. ambassador to Russia met with his Russian counterparts before Barack Obama even won. Was there any question then as to the propriety of that? No. And the idea that, you know, I get that Al Franken and some people uh, in, in the backbench would make silly claims like Sessions should resign. But when the Democratic leader in the Senate joins what's essentially a, well, this kind of really witch hunt, much I, I think it's, it just shows a real sad state for the modern Democratic Party's leadership because it's very lacking to have the head of the Democratic Party in the Senate follow such a foul ball. Yeah, I, and I want to turn, if I, if I may, to uh, just this absurd notion uh, right now uh, in this country that uh, Barack Obama, is, it's on and he's ready to roll. And what's he going to do? Uh, I, I mean, uh, what Valerie Jarrett's living uh, with the Obamas now and they're all uh, uh, headquartered there in Washington. And there's going to be a shadow government and a deep state that's going to rise up and uh, commit what? S sedition and try to uh, obstruct the entire Trump administration? Leslie, tell me it's not true. 
That is not true. Uh, what the president is doing, and he has talked. He has talked about this before he left office. Some things that concern him, and one of the things that concerned him uh, was the um, lack of access, specifically for African Americans, which he has obviously a personal, uh, you know, investment in uh, having access uh, to voting with gerrymandering and a pushback and change in voting rights in yeah. certain states. Uh, this isn't any kind of shadow government. This is a young guy who was president who looks at his party and says. Hey, the Democrats uh, don't have the House, they don't have the Senate, they don't have the White House. What can I do as a former president, as a Democrat, and as right. an attorney uh, to assist with that, uh, working alongside the former N Attorney General noble. Eric Holder? They, very noble. They've lost all of those things, Leslie, after eight years of his presidency, I would remind you. And this is clearly nothing other than a legacy defense project, because Barack Obama understands that nah. if history were to judge him, it would not be quite as nice because of the fact that you have had I, eight years of economic we, essentially failure and foreign policy failure. We got, we got to close it here very quickly. Uh, you know, I, and by the way, I mean, it, it'd take a lot of spiffing to get that legacy uh, uh, where he would want it, uh, I think. Leslie, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Tony, say thank, you, thank you very much. Thanks, say Bill. hi to both your children. Uh, <laughs> and we'll, we'll take up the, uh, the roll call later. Thanks so much.